A Rune of the Rain by George Parsons Lathrop O Many-Toned Rain. O Myriad Sweet Voices of the Rain. How welcome is its delicate overture at evening, when the moist and glowing west seals all things with cool promise of night's rest. At first it would allure the earth to kinder mood, with dainty flattering of soft, sweet pattering, faintly. Now you hear the tramp of the fine drops, falling damp on the dry, sun-seasoned ground and the thirsty leaves, resound. But anon, imbued with a sudden, bounding access of passion, it relaxes all timider persuasion. And, with nor pretext nor occasion, its wooing redoubles, and pounds the ground, and bubbles in sputtering. Spray, flinging itself in a fury of flashing white away, till the dusty road, dank perfumed, is overflowed, and the grass, and the wide-hung trees, the vines, the flowers in their beds, the virid corn that to the breeze rustles along the garden rows, visibly lift their heads, and, as the quick shower wilder grows, upleap with answering kisses to the rain, then, the slow and pleasant murmur of its subsiding, as the pulse of the storm beats firmer, and the steady rain drops into a cadence chiding. Deep breathing rain, the sad and ghostly noise wherewith thou dost complain thy plaintive, spiritual voice, heard thus at close of day through vaults of twilight gray, vexes me with sweet pain, and still my soul is fain to know the secret of that yearning which in thine utterance I hear returning. Hush, O oh hush, break not the dreamy rush of the rain. Touch not the marring doubt words bring to the certainty of its soft refrain. But let the flying fringes flout their drops. Against the pain, and the gurgling throat of the waterspout groan in the eaves amain. The earth is wedded to the shower. Darkness and awe gird round the bridal hour. Too o oh, many-toned rain. It hath caught the strain of a wilder tune. Ere the same night's noon when dreams and sleep forsake me, and sudden dread doth wake me, to hear the booming drums of heaven beat the long roll to battle, when the knotted cloud, with an echoing loud, bursts asunder at the sudden resurrection of the thunder, and the fountains of the air, unsealed again, sweep, ruining, everywhere, to wrap the world in a watery winding sheet. Three O oh, myriad sweet voices of the rain. When the airy war doth wane, and the storm to the east hath flown, cloaked close in the whirling wind, there's a voice still left behind in each heavy-hearted tree, charged with tearful memory of the vanished rain. From their leafy lashes wet drip the dews of fresh regret for the lover that's gone. All else is still, yet the stars are listening, and low o'er the wooded hill hangs, upon listless wing outspread, a shape of damp, blue cloud, watching like a bird of evil that knows nor mercy nor reprieval, the slow and silent death of the pallid moon. I v but soon, returning duly, dawn whitens the wet hilltops bluely. To her vision pure and cold the nights. Wild tale is told on the glistening leaf, in the mid-road pool, the garden mold turned dark and cool, and the meadows trampled acres. But hark, how fresh the song of the winged music makers. For now the moanings bitter, left by the rain, make harmony with the swallow's mate and twitter, and the robin's note, like the winds in a tree. The infant, morning breathes sweet breath, and with it is blent the wistful, wild, moist scent of the grass in the marsh which the sea nourisheth, and behold, the last reluctant drop of the storm, wrung from the roof, is smitten warm and turned to gold for in its veins doth run the very blood of the bold, unsullied sun.